This morning we're going to cover an example of a simple cursor and it is considered to be kind of the big bad wolf of uh, T-SQL and it's it gets a bad rap and, and we'll, we'll cover in a second some things about it. For the most part I don't think of it as being evil or wicked or corrupt or going to destroy you or wipe out your career or whatever it is that people say about them. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the syntax first of all. I'm going to use client marketing and I'm going to declare a client marketing uh, data tables um, and then I'm going to declare the uh, this is a var card here this is just a variable I'm going to declare the actual cursor and this is a client marketing data tables cursor and then I'm going to say for select and this is where it's going to actually go through each of these right for select name from sys.tables so all of the tables in client marketing it's going to go through each of those right so I'm going to set up my cursor this is opening it right and I'm going to fetch next from client marketing data tables into this variable right so that just gets the first round started. And then while fetch status equals zero, we're going to do, really if you look at this, this is nothing short of a loop, because if you see we're printing out what the table is and then we're fetching next and we're storing that in the variable, then we're closing the cursor and deallocating it. So basically fetch equal fetch status equals zero means it succeeded, right? If it was negative one, it means it failed. If it's negative two, that means that the row that it was getting, fetching, whatever, um, basically was not there. Okay, so if we call this, we will see that we get all of our tables. Okay, that's all it did basically is go through, you know, each of these tables. And, um, you know, actually in this case, it'd be really no different than just doing select's name from sys tables. But anyway, except we're printing it out. So it just goes through each of them and prints it out. Ta da! Nothing really magical. And yes, you could basically really accomplish the same thing with a while loop. For instance, you could. Uh, do uh, declare loop table. In fact, I've done this plenty of times on this uh, channel, but you declare a loop table, you have an ID, and then you have a name, which is a var car, then you insert um, name from sys tables, and then you go while begin is less than the max ID in that table, print out the table name. And so this is essentially what this is doing. In general, I like while loops more than I like cursors, and again, you'll find plenty of people who hate both of them. Um, so the reason why cursors, they use memory, so the reason why they're generally disliked is because they use more memory, which I understand in today's world is like, really? That's a concern? You're in a bad environment if that's a concern. Um, but the thing about it is, I think that most people don't realize that an update statement or a delete statement or an insert statement in general is going to actually smack into a lot of different values. And what I mean by that is, you know, if I wanted to insert 10,000 values of something um, as a case in point, there might be better ways to do that than with a cursor. Or let's say hypothetically, if I wanted to update a bunch of values, this wouldn't really be the way to go about doing that. So in other words, you're, you're going through row by row by row, right? Whereas if you need to update 500 values, um, you could easily just do update set and then specify the values in your where clause. That's the the understanding that I get is that really in T SQL or in SQL in general we have better update or delete or insert operations and so there really is no reason um, to using some like something like this now the other reason why I'm not you know super hot about cursors though I understand there's value in covering them is because if you're familiar with object-oriented programming, whether that's C-sharp or whether that's Ruby or whether that's PowerShell or whatever it is, you can do these type of operations. For instance, let's say you're backing up databases. You could back up a database using something like PowerShell a lot faster in general. I mean, .NET is a very highly optimized uh, language if you're looking for speed. There's, um, to my knowledge at least, there's not a language that at least I've worked with um, as frequently as .NET, especially compared to like Ruby or Python, that comes even close. So the .NET library is a very, very speedy library. And so if I needed to do something, let's say row by row, I would first turn to a tools like PowerShell or C Sharp. That's my preference. Um, that's, again, not bashing people who are using cursors. That being said, I have talked to a lot of uh, report writers and report writing is not something that I've ever really been into that much. I, I've done some, and um, but it's just not something that is really, I guess you could say, really interests me that much. And these uh, report writers have told me that um, 
what is it that cursors are very handy in some reports and then the other one as well is that some like HTML the status of I've seen a lot of people use cursors now again we could we could argue all day long because I could come back in and say well but you know if I did that in PowerShell it'd be a lot faster and that's true it would be uh, but for someone let's say an environment doesn't have any PowerShell developers they only have T-SQL developers okay well it's really not the end of the world to then use a cursor especially in their environment where they have tons of memory and even in their current environment they're only using maybe 17 percent of their overall memory is a cursor you know grabbing let's say four values going to crash their whole environment pretty hard for me to believe um, so it just depends and it, it goes back to really what are you using it for and it is true if you have a team that's unfamiliar with something like PowerShell or C Sharp by all means a cursor may be something that's very useful in there.